Slugfest Games brings a new title to an existing line of amazing games. Red Dragon Inn 7, The Tavern Crew. This is for 2-4 players ages 13 and up and should take between 30 and 60 minutes. All the heroes have finally turned in for the night. So it's time to kick back with a mug of ale, a fist of dice, and pouches lined with adventurer's gold. The wench joins the party at the Red Dragon Inn and she's bringing the rest of the tavern crew, Jasper the Bouncer, Molly the Stable Hand, and Wartham Redbeard with her. Red Dragon Inn 7 is a new 2-4 player standalone expansion to the Red Dragon Inn series of games. In this game, you and up to three of your friends will play as the staff of our beloved tavern, enjoying the night after all the adventuring patrons have passed out in their rooms, or stables. Of course, this won't be a quiet night of relaxation. Gamble, brawl, and drink the night away as you prove you have what it takes to keep up with the heroes you handle night after night. The Red Dragon Inn 7 can be combined with all of the previous releases, letting you mix up the characters and the mayhem for games with four or more players. Hmm, fun, 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 fun. Love, love reading these, these publisher blurbs. It gives you a good sense of things. Well, I, I'm a huge fan of Red Dragon Inn series. You may have seen many of the videos uh, that we've put up for it, uh, from playing the game to talking about the game. Uh, reviewing, we got a chance to review Evil Pookie, which is the uh, which was the most previous uh, and the fiftieth ally expansion for them. Uh, we, so we do, we did definitely have fun with this game. What I, what I'm thinking is, even though you may already own one or more copies of Red Dragon Inn, like myself, I still think this is worthy to get an add to it. They, they, they all interconnect, right? They're all interchangeable. What this is doing is giving you new characters to adventure with through the tavern, so to speak. With the adventure being, you know, drinking till you drop and or gambling all your money away. But it, it, it brings some of the most interesting characters that I've had the opportunity to play on, on a tabletop. It brings them to you and it's adding more. And now this backstory, I'm personally loving the fact that it's the tavern crew. I mean, we've been seeing and dealing with and being dealt with by the tavern wench literally since that first game hit the table. And now she's a playable character. I think that's amazing. And that's another one of the reasons why this is on my, my Christmas wish list. And I think it should be on yours too, regardless of whether you have some of them. Adding to this doesn't clutter it up. Like some sometimes you get an, an expansion and then another and then another and another. And, and then eventually everything just feels cluttered up. This never has to me. And I keep looking forward to seeing what they have next. And this, this whole tavern crew thing. I love the way they, 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 they've started changing things up. You know, in, in one it was uh, on a pirate ship and you had a pirate crew and another it was finally the bad guys, the villains, and, and now you get the tavern crew. So that that's another thing that I'm enjoying from Slugfest alone with this series is how they keep tweaking something. They just keep, uh, you know, they, hey, how about this idea? How about that idea? I'm, I'm loving it. And that's why I think that regardless of having other copies you need seven. Now, if you're lucky enough, maybe you can find a place uh, that may still have a Kickstarter edition, because uh, there's uh, you know other things that are uh, that are coming with that. Uh, like you get some extra drink cards, like the good stuff, and ye old drinking dice. Uh, it's gonna have the, the Kickstarter bonuses. I mean, it's not needed, but if you're a bit of a completionist like myself. You, you may try to get your hands on a copy of that, but even just the store copy is going to have so much, uh, and, and this is what I like, the combination of it, so much of the same, while at the same time, so much of the new. <laughs> it, it's one of the best game expansion series, I think, that, that delivers that sensation to me. It's old and new, it's, but it's more, and it works so well together, so great. You know, and, and I also like to point out, if you're not familiar with the game, and this is the first time you're hearing about this series, uh, I, I want to point out that, yes, it is a, a game about drinking to you pass out. 
It is a game about gambling all your money away. Actually, it's, it's about not doing those two things. But those are the two things that will cause you to lose the game. And the other players and their cards are trying to make sure that happens to you. So, yes, it is a, a, a game about a bar and drinking. But I still have to say that I think this counts as a fun family game. I mean, when you think about it, it is drinking. But you're purposely trying not to get that inebriated. You're gambling, but you're purposely trying not to lose your money. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it too deep, but I'm just afraid that there may be some people that would be putting off on this game because it has to do with drinking, and they're looking for a more family game. This really is it. The, the back and forth, take that style of the game while you're playing it, combined with the unique character cards of each and every character in all of the expansions, is a massively fun experience. Don't let that stop you or deter you if it had in the past. Trust me, it's all so tongue-in-cheek that it's worth it to try. Yeah, it makes a good family game. It makes a good game for gamers, you know? But it also, I think, makes a good game as a gateway game. I think this would be a good game for anyone that, uh, you know, has friends that are kind of on the fence with gaming, but maybe they like fantasy. This game, I think they're going to have fun at. It's not overly complicated. There's... There's not a lot of things to keep track of at all. Just two things to keep track of. Your inebriation and your constitution score, right? That's it. Stamina, uh, whatever physical endurance trait it is. I, I can't remember which one they particularly use right now. But you get what I mean. Those are the only two things that you need to keep track of. It's, it's an easy game to play. It's an easy game to teach. In case you don't know the series, I wanted to make sure you knew that. But if you're looking for a good Christmas gift, holiday gift, for yourself you're a gamer, or for a friend that's a gamer... This, this might be what you're looking for. So go look into it more, because you may end up wanting on your wish list Slugfest Games, Red Dragon Inn 7, The Tavern Crew, just like me. Uh...